So, ladies and gentlemen, what they have is f of x equals 1 divided by x plus 3 minus 3. And what they're asking us to do is graph the function and then state the domain and the range. All right. So the way that I'm going to graph this is by using the transformations. To use the transformations, we have to understand how the, what are the transformations of the reciprocal function. So the transformation of the reciprocal functions look like this. f of x equals a times 1 over x minus h plus k. All right. Well, remember, a tells you if you're going to reflect um, over the x or y axis. It also tells you if you're going to have a stretch or a compression. h tells you if you're going to shift left or right. And k tells you if you're going to shift up or down. Now, to do transformations, we need to understand what the parent graph looks like. So remember, I introduced this to you guys last class period. f of x equals 1 over x. The graph, the unique part of the graph compared to what we've talked about so far is the graph has these two dotted lines, which we're going to talk much more about today. And these two little dotted lines are our asymptotes. And what was important about our asymptotes is that our graph approached these two lines. It never actually touched them or crossed them, but it approached them as the graph went to infinity and negative infinity. All right? So what we're going to do is now I want to apply these transformations. So first of all, I notice, am I multiplying by a number a right now in this case? No. So therefore, I'm not going to have a reflection, nor am I going to have a stretch or a horizontal, um, a shift left or shift right. However, I can say that I have x plus 3. So that means that's going to be my h. So am I going to shift left or right? Remember, it's always x opposite of h. So you're going to want to shift in the opposite direction, right? So I'm actually going to shift 3 units left. All right, shift 3 units left. And then minus 3, it's plus k. So when k is negative, then you're going to shift 3 units down. So what I need to do then is I need to take this graph, shift it 3 units to the left, and 3 units down. Now, these are what we call a hyperbola. And you guys are kind of un unfamiliar with the hyperbola. It's a little bit kind of difficult to graph it. All right? So rather than trying to shift my hyperboles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the, the asymptotes. Because I know I have an asymptote at x equals 0, and I have an asymptote at y equals 0. So if I'm shifting this graph 3 units to the left, if my original um, vertical asymptote is at x equals 0, what's my new vertical asymptote going to be at? x equals negative 3, because we're shifting to the left. Right? So now I shifted my vertical asymptote to the left 3. Then it says I'm going to shift 3 units down. Well, remember, I have a horizontal asymptote at 0. So if I'm shifting 3 units down, that means my now my new horizontal asymptote, Juliana, is now going to be shifted three units down. Then from this point, you guys can see now I can just go ahead and sketch the graph. If I wanted to make sure I had exact values, I could plot in my two points to the left and to the right. Um, but we'll just go and look at this. It's just going to be something like this. And go like that. All right, we could easily just pick. You know, plotting two points to the left and to the right, but I'm not getting exact. We're going to get exact with today. However, they do ask us to find the domain and range. All right. So the domain for this function is we need to look at this and say, what are all the possible numbers that we can plug into this value or to this equation? Well, we can plug in all possible numbers, except the only number we cannot plug in is when x equals negative 3. The reason being is. When x equals negative 3, my denominator is now 0. So I can say my domain is all real numbers except x cannot equal negative 3. OK, Brittany? Then when we look at the range, the range is going to be all real numbers except what is the only output value or y value that my graph is not <coughs> evaluated for? It would never have a point at y equals negative 3. So the range is all real numbers except y cannot equal negative 3. 
And that's it. That's all you guys had to do for that type of equation. Yes? OK. Oh, you want to go next door? Yeah, for a Sure. Okay. Did we get mad? Nope.